one of the most important questions marketers have is who are our best customers? Who are our worst customers? Knowing that information helps marketers reach out to those customers in a very personalized way. All of the customer information is sitting in a database. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write a SQL query to get answer to that question. Marketers and marketing analysts are generally dependent on developers to get this kind of information. I'm going to show you how you can write this SQL or SQL on your own and get this information. This video is part of SQL for Marketers and Marketing Analysts course. If you want to dive deeper, then you can sign up for that course. The link is in the first comment. However, if you don't want to sign up for that course, that's okay. Just follow along and you will know how to write that SQL. I am using MySQL database for this example. And the data that I'm using is the sample data that comes with MySQL. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me by leaving a comment in the comment box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But before we proceed, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out any videos from me. Let's dive in. When I say top and worst, that could be defined by the company, but let's assume we are saying who are top customer based on the revenue they bring and who are the worst customers based on the revenue they bring. In order to do so, you'll have to do a join between different tables. One is a customer table. If you look at, you will get the customer information from here. Customer ID, store ID, names, etc. Another table that you'll need is the payment table, which brings us the amount and the customer ID. First, let's go ahead and write a SQL statement that will give us the payments from all the customers. In order to do so, you'll create a join between payment table and customer table on customer ID. So go ahead and write. This is going to be a SQL. Select everything from customer, join payment on customer IDs. Go ahead and execute it. Here is a list. Here is a list of all the customers and their payments, right? You'll notice that all the customers are repeated. The reason they are repeated is because there are multiple records for a given customer in your payment table because customer comes again and again. So we are going to further refine it to help you get one record for each customer. You will learn some concept of SQL that you haven't seen, but this will bring those to life. So one, let's narrow down our criteria because what we need is first name, last name, email, amount and go ahead and execute it so here you go mary smith 299 then mary smith 99 cents then mary smith 599 and so on if you ever to enter the date you'll see the dates along with it at this point we're not worried about date we just want to get a list of top and bottom customers one thing that we did not touch last time was the concept of grouping when you introduce other columns like first name, last name, email, or any other column along with a sum or count, you have to use a clause called group by. Group by tells SQL what columns it needs to take to create that sum at what level. So we're saying we need a sum at first name, last name, email address. So unique combination of first name, last name, email should have a sum. The only challenge here is going to be if you use email, let's say a customer's email changed midstream. So they have multiple records. Anil, Batra, 
has batraonline at gmail.com and Anil Batra also has support at anilbatra.com. Those two email addresses will result in two records. We don't have to worry about that right now. So let's continue with our query, but keep that in mind. If any of these things change, first name, last name, email, you'll get multiple records for that customer. And this is where you have to use update or delete statements to fix your data. So what do we want to group by in this scenario? We need to group it by first name, last name, and email. And statement is simple. So what it's saying is select first name, last name, email, and sum of amount from customer by joining it to payment and make sure to group the records by first name, last name, email. If you do not use group by, you'll get weird results and also it could result in error. So go ahead and execute it. Here you have it. You have first name, last name, and the amount paid by that customer. Let's play by some order buys. So we're going to order them by first name. Execute it. Now you have a list of all the customers ordered by first name. However, in our case, we need to find top customers by the amount they pay. So we have to order by the sum amount. There are a few ways to order this result set. One is you can simply click visually if you're using MySQL on any of these columns to sort it by that column. However, we're learning SQL here. So I want to show you how to do that in SQL. In SQL, you can either simply type in order by sum amount. That's the column you want to sort by and in a descending order. So order by sum amount descending and go ahead and click execute. Now it's sorted by the amount in a descending order. The other way is to give this column an alias. The way you do is just simply type in the alias and order by that alias. There you have it. Now, if you remember, we are looking for top customers. And let's define the, what the top number is. Let's say we want to have top 10 customers. The way to do top depends on the database you're using. For MySQL and Oracle, there is a clause called limit. However, in SQL Server, it's called top. So I'm going to show you SQL Server way. It's not going to work here, but just so that you can see it, it's basically select top and then give a number execute it, this will give you the result set. In case of MySQL or Oracle, if you're using the interface in MySQL, you can just pick from here and say limit 10 rows. If you do that, it's going to give you the result set for top 10. But like I said, we're not using the visual interface here. We want to learn SQL. So let's do it by SQL. You type in limit. 10. That's all you have to do. And execute it. You got the top 10 results. You can change the limit to 10, 20, 50, 100, whatever you want. All right. That's how you get the list of top 10 customers. Now, if you have to get bottom 10 customers, you can do that by sorting them in a different order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any new videos from me. I will be posting more SQL videos so that marketers don't have to be dependent on developers to give them the data that they want. I'm always teaching data-driven marketing. Check the comment below to see what courses I have available for you to become a data-driven marketer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.